Hey guys, so I'm back for another tutorial and this one is definitely not for the tame of heart. It's definitely n not subtle, not probably not wearable for most of you, um, but these are creative looks that I like, I enjoy doing. And I was inspired by one of my favorite um, makeup artists here on YouTube and sh her name's Maria, but she goes under a propo makeup, a pro po makeup. <laughs> Um, here on YouTube and she also has a Facebook page which she posts a lot of looks and this is the one that I was inspired by hopefully you can see that that's the look I was inspired by and I'll leave links to her channel and to her Facebook page so you guys can check her out if you're interested and definitely support her because I think she's fantastic in what she does um, what she uses is mainly like she uses water-based makeup I think it's she it's watercolors from Atelier and um, I don't have that so I use powder and I try to recreate that the, her looks as close as I can um, but I don't necessarily get the exact same effect but I like the result anyway and if you guys want to see how I did this look then stay tuned for the tutorial take care bye hey guys so here's an up close view of the look we're going for it's kind of a fantasy inspired look so definitely not for everyday wear but I love doing these kinds of looks because they're fun for me okay I already applied my primer potion in this case this Urban Decay primer potion and my Stila Prime Pot in caramel all over my lid up to my brow and I already of course did my brows so let's get right into the first step the first thing I'm going to do is go in with cherry lip pencil. Now this is for meant for lips, but um, you can use it on your eyes at your own risk. So I'm going to risk it. So I'm going to use this just to outline that red above the crease. So try to line it up and get the same shape you have going on on the other side. Try to get it as precise as possible, but don't deposit too much of the red. You don't need to um, really press on the pencil to get like a really severe amount of color down. So now we have just a basic line down. I'm going to go in with my MAC 242 small shader brush, and it's a really flat definer brush. And I'm going to go in and start blending out the line we created with the pencil so you see just with the pencil just that little amount that we put down it's already quite a lot of color so again don't press too hard on the pencil and deposit too much color because you don't want too much color there so just use you can use a concealer brush to anything with this kind of shape with like a sharp flat shape just use that and blend out the color and I'm blending it out and up just slightly up though not too much and just using the side of the brush just to fade that line out go in until you get the basic shape so that's what we'll have right now now I'm gonna go in with a red eyeshadow and for this I'm using my Magnolia makeup Creole tomato pigment and it's a really vivid red color and it's matte in finish which is what we're going for you can also use something like sugar pills love plus which is a matte red eyeshadow it's pressed but this is a loose pigment so get it on that 242 brush and then just follow the shape of the line just follow that shape of the line that we already created and just go back and forth to create uh, I guess a more gradual effect the powder will create a more I guess mm, how do I want to put it like a more subtle effect than the pencil will so just use the brush again just to fade that color up now I'm gonna go in with a MAC 217 brush if I could find it 
it's just a blender brush so a fluffy blender brush just to blend out the edges of that color just to try to fade it upwards so just blend as best as you can fade in this color up like that now I'm gonna go in with sugar pill butter cupcake which is a matte yellow color so a matte yellow color bright vivid yellow color and I'm just gonna apply that right above the red like that just to get like a sunset effect up here again go in with the 217 and blend that out and it will blend the red and the yellow together to get that faded effect like that now I'm gonna just run in with my highlight and for this I'm using Magnolia makeup again and this one is double rice and it looks like this it's just a matte like yellowed ivory color I'm picking that up on my usual two Mac 252 brush just a huge paddle brush any brush that you're comfortable with applying your highlight go ahead I'm just applying that and fading it down and I use double rice pigment from Magnolia just because it has a yellow tinge to it so it will blend better with that yellow that we applied so that's what we'll have right now now let's sharpen up the red a little bit more just sharpen it up with the 242 brush apply more of that Creole tomato pigment just to intensify the shape I mean try to be as careful as possible not to get below the line but if you get below the line don't worry about it too too much like, don't stress out about it we can clean it up but try to be precise as possible because I mean it's, it's easier to be exact than to have to go in and clean stuff up so now what I'm gonna do is go in with my Stila Prime Pot again just because I want to sharpen up the shape just the car caramel color caramel 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 <laughs> how do you guys pronounce it 242 just pick some up that word has always been like this interesting word to me caramel I say caramel a lot of people say caramel I don't know I think it's caramel but to each their own I mean that's the beauty of life we have different accents and different ways of pronouncing things so makes life more interesting so we're just using that Stila Prime Pot to clean up the shape of that red and like I said before we can clean it up so you shouldn't worry too much that's what we'll have now and now I'm going in with another 242 well no I'm gonna use my 252 for this and just pick up this is Taiko from Sugar Pill which is just a matte white color so any matte white color you have if you have um, what is it called I forget the white color from Mac Gesso. If you have Gesso, feel free to use that. And I'm just going to apply that below the red. And again, you want to use something similar to this, either the 242 or the 252, just this shape so you can get a sharp line against that red. You don't want like a jagged looking crazy line. Now, Let's go in with this blue color, and for that I'm using Clarity Eyeshadow from MAC. And I depotted mine, and it looks like this, and it's all broken and stuff. This color is actually discontinued, which is a shame because it's a great, great matte plus. What is it, matte 2 um, shade from them, but they discontinued it. Um, but you can also use Electric Eel, which is this one here. There are a couple of colors also from Inglot that are similar. You can use like you know any blue color that looks similar to this it's, it's like a cyan blue or yeah now I'm using my 242 again and what we're gonna do is apply this to the inner lid but we're keeping a shape and we're leaving a gap of white so see how we did it over here we're gonna leave a gap of white between the blue and the red so apply that to the inner corner pick up as my you know color as you go on and pack it on and this is why I love Clarity. If you can get your hands on Clarity, I say get Clarity over Electric Eel because Clarity is just smooth and buttery and like 
look at the pigment. It's it's great. So just apply that and try to get into the inner tear duct, keeping that shape. Remember, we're keeping that shape going. Apply that to the inner lid, like going almost a half the way in. Then I'm gonna go in again with the butter cupcake, which is the matte yellow. I'm gonna take this time my 239. <laughs> Can you see I took a chunk out of it? I took a chunk out of it with scissors. I don't know what I was doing. But just like any shadow brush, and I'm gonna pick up that yellow. And I'm gonna apply it right to the middle of the lid next to that yellow, um, blue. Just to create that little pop of highlight right in the middle of the lid. Apply it like that. Then I'm gonna go in with the other side of the brush, pick up a little bit of the blue, and then blend them together. like that. So you'll have like a little green thing going on too, but it's, you didn't apply green, you just mixed the yellow and the blue. Awesome! Now, let's go back in with that cherry lip liner pencil, or whatever you used, and if you see the shape here, it's more of like a little cut crease kind of effect. So what I'm going to do is try to create that on this side. And what I did was do like a little semicircle thing going on right there like that keeping that gap of white and just creating like a little like that yeah it's not as simple as it looks I mean but it's also not as hard just do a shape and go with it then using my 242 well no let me actually use the lip liner a little bit to feather in some color like so. It's already feathered in some color and I'll just use the 252 to like the 220 40 plus 242 miss. Yeah, 242 to feather in the color like that. And then using the brush to sweep it across to maintain that shape that we created with the gap of white. Okay? Now I'm going back in with the Magnolia Makeup Creole Tomato, that matte red, and then fill in that red, just to intensify the red and fill in like empty gaps. So go ahead, then sweep it across and meet it, and blend it in. There you go. Now. I did like a little fun thing on the outside. I don't know. So I just go in and I'm actually going to put some of the white there because it's there's like a missing gap. So I'm going to actually just put a little bit of white right there if I could find something to put it with. Um, I'm just going to use any old brush. Get a little bit of that Taco, which is the matte white and just apply it to that outer area. Like that. Then I'm going in with my high def cyan chromographic pencil from MAC, and it's just uh, that cyan blue color. And I'm going to create like a little circular shape, like on the other side. And then fade it out. Just fade it out. And I want to turn down the TV because it's a little bit too loud. And then I'm going with a 242 and kind of blend out the edge of that color. And you can go in and get that blue color that you used before, that powder, that eyeshadow, and it's clarity in my case, and just apply it to that shape and blend it out. And that's what you have. Now let's go in and apply. Just a little bit of the same chromographic pencil right on the lower lash line. Just slightly. And we're going just about mm, halfway in. A little bit over halfway in. Then just go in with your brush 242 and I'm just going to blend it out. So it's not a harsh line. And then I'm just going to take the clarity and go over it lightly keeping close to the lash line 
and apply that color. I'm going to apply a little bit more on this side as well. Now, what I'm going to do is apply a really thin line of upper lash line liner. And for that, I'm going to use my Benefit Babe Cake yeah, cake eyeliner in black and just a little bit of MAC Mix and Medium and my MAC 263 angled brush. And this is the synthetic version of MAC's angled eyeliner brushes. I'm going to apply that black really thinly along the upper eyelash area, really thinly. And I'm being very quiet. And I'm not going to wing it, but I'm cr creating like, well, I guess I am winging it. Just like a little wing, but not like an upwards wing. It's underneath the blue um, circular effect that we created. Isn't it fun when eyelashes get in the way? Just like that. And lovely black on my face. I'll clean that off. And just, um, I'm just going to grab my L'Oreal Hip, um, what is this called? The cream liner and apply it to my lower waterline area with my Sigma EO5 eyeliner brush. And I'm going to apply mascara and lashes, and I'll show you my lashes that I'm going to use. These are the Princess Lashes from Beauty Sense, and they look like that. And they won't add too much to my lashes, it's just adding a little volume, not really length. And that's just to make sure that my lashes don't get hidden in all of this. So I'll be right back to finish up the look. Hey guys, so I finished up the look, and I'll show you up close what it looks like. Very dramatic, very intense, definitely not for the weak of heart <laughs> or the tame. Um, I like to do creative looks. This is definitely not a wearable look for everyone, but I like to play around in makeup and that's what I find fun. Um, for my cheeks, I went in with my Makeup Forever number no. 1 sculpting kit and my Sigma Angle Kabuki brush just to give myself some contour and dimension. Um, I used MAC Azalea Blossom Blush Ombre, and it's the pink and purple gradient blush. These came out in January with the Spring Forecast, I believe, collection. One of the Spring Collections. And um, it's actually being re-promoted with the Daphne Guinness Collection, which debuts, I believe it's December 26th, which is the day after Christmas, or it could be January. But keep an eye out for these. They come out. This one and Vintage Grape is being re-promoted. So if you were interested in these, they're coming out in an upcoming collection. For my lips, I use the Kissable Lip Color, also from MAC. And this one is Vanity Fair. And it's just a light pink color. And it's a blue-based pink. And I kept um, like the blush and the lips kind of blue-based, cool pinks, just to offset the blue in the eyeshadow. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial, had fun with the look. Um, definitely don't expect everybody to wear it out, but I had fun doing it. So hopefully you guys had fun watching it. Um, as usual, pictures of the final look and a complete list of products used will be listed on my blog. And I'll leave the link below in the information box. So until I see you again, take care. Bye.